Hi, my name is Mike Applin, Senior Product Director for the Luxury Fifth Wheel Division here at Jayco RV. And today I would like to talk about uh, the exterior of the new Pinnacle for 2022. And let's get started. You can see in this front living room floor plan, we have the pass-through storage. There's a lot of neat features that we can talk about with our customers. For example, if you pan up towards the ceiling, you can see the astrofoil or the tech foil insulation, just another radiant barrier that protects all the heat cold transfer from going right up into the bedroom, or in this case, the living room area on this floor plan. We also have forced inducted heat. We have a dedicated heat duct. And one of the things we like to really stress with our luxury product is that we run a 40,000 BTU furnace. Uh, a lot of manufacturers in the industry run 35,000 BTUs, so we have a 40,000, and that extra 5,000 is one of the reasons that it helps protect some of your water lines and such that goes through the water docking station as well as your water pump. We also have the built-in central vacuum system right there. We have the standard outside television of the Pinnacle. On this particular floor plan, it goes through in the pass-through storage. On the other floor plans, it will be built into the outside sidewall that goes into the buffet area. This coach right here features one of the three full-body paint jobs. On the Pinnacle, this is the sand paint job. We also offer the diamond. We also have the steel, so three full-body paint jobs. Standard will be a graphics package, of course. On this particular floor plan, the 38 FLGS, it is a front living room, but we're talking about the pinnacle in general today. So I wanted to start off here also with the front landing gear. So we have the level up system. That's a six point hydraulic system. Everything is run through your BM Pro Smart Coach. You can also do it on your phone on the app. And then on the off door side in the water station, we also have a control panel that you can operate everything as well. 12 gallon gas electric DSI water heater. We also have an outside spray port. Now, depending on the floor plan, this one has the stairs actually further back, but this was intended to be able to spray off your step above with your strut assist on there as well. We also run the five star handling package. We have the Beast tires, the Goodyear tires. We're very proud of made in America. We also have, if you can pan in and see the blue valve stem, that's your instant tire pressure monitor system. On pinnacles, we have what's called the LRE 4000, which is the suspension system. 4000 on a pinnacle, 3000 on your North points and the 4000, that shows you that you have four inches of vertical travel on that. Black tank flush, more outside storage. You also have an additional hookup for cable and satellite right there for another outside television. We run the tech foil back here. Once again, all the heat transfer that's coming back into the bedroom and the bathroom area on this particular coach. And in the Pinnacle series, we do not have by floor plan a lot of room for outside kitchens, but on this particular floor plan, this is a takeoff of our very popular 382 uh, North Point, the front living room, FLRB. This has the pull-out griddle. You have the sink. You also have the refrigerator right here as well. And then you have your outside hookups for your quick connect for your grill. Moving around to the front of the coach. One of the things that we really talk about on our luxury fifth wheels, north points and pinnacles is you notice the drop frame right here. You can see where it drops down right here. What we actually do is we actually spend the extra money to wrap that so you don't see the customers won't see your chassis or your 12 inch high beam. So what we have is a 12 inch high beam and then here where the frame drops down to give you the deeper storage, it's actually a 10 inch I beam as well. So we run a 12 to a 10 and then we cover it and encapsulate it with the skirt metal. And once again, that's just another opportunity for others to save money. We do it standard on all of our coaches. A very popular option is generator prep. Now generator prep doesn't sound like a big deal. Everybody has generator prep options. However, we give you the ability to have three tanks with all of our luxury product, North Points and Pinnacles. 
And then when you check the box for the optional generator, they increase from 30 pound bottles to 40 pound bottles. So not only one, but we'll have two more on the off door side. So 120 pounds of generator uh, power or LP at your disposal. Very nice feature. Uh, this is an industry first for Jayco. We're very proud of that. We have backup camera prep, observation prep, and this is what the cameras will look like when you order it from the factory with the two-year warranty. So this is the camera setup right here. Now this particular coach, this is actually a prototype that we did. It's called our Overlander EXT package, and we set out this year to have the largest, most powerful solar system in the industry. And what do I mean by the most uh, powerful? Well, this starts off with six solar panels on the roof, which are 200 watts each. So 1200 watts of power up there. This is also has six batteries in it, which are 600 amp hour lithium batteries that are self-contained in this steel box. These also have built-in heat pads to them. A lot of customers don't realize that in cold weather operation, you can use the batteries, but you can't charge the batteries. So we've taken the time to go ahead and add the heat pads in with everything. You can see the thick gauge of those wires right there. We also gave you plenty of opportunity and room to add additional batteries in the way that we've designed our front storage compartment. Another neat feature of that too is we're the first and only manufacturer to be able to offer this type of a solar system as well as have the optional 5.5 generator. So you can see the redundancy that's involved with this. So we basically have a backup for a backup for a backup. So optional 5.5 Onan generator, six 100 amp hour lithium batteries, six 200 watt panels. We run a 3000 watt pure sign inverter and I'll show you that over here. Part two of the 40 pound bottles, we talked about having three 40 pound bottles. So I wanted to show you what those look like. Once again, very popular option. Most of our dealers bring it in with that option to be able to have the ability to have the three 40 pound bottles. This is where we have our 3000 watt pure sign inverter. And then next to it is typically you would see a 30, a 50, maybe a 70 amp uh, MPPT charge controller we run a 100 amp charge controller on there. So once again, you can see where anybody else stopped, that's kind of where we started with our solar system. Another thing that I want to speak about in terms of our system is when you're driving down the road, one of the pitfalls is there's really no good way to charge those lithium batteries. And in fact, if you used your regular pigtail, uh, what most dealers will do is they'll clip one of the wires so that you can't overcharge your batteries which can cause heat, which can damage them. So what we've done is spent the money and we ran what's called a DC to DC controller. So you can actually plug in when you're going down the road. Let's say you were at a campground and the last two days there was no sun anywhere. Well, your batteries are gonna be depleted, but yet you have an eight hour drive to your next uh, camping destination. You can actually plug into the truck, into the DC to DC controller, and it'll actually charge the batteries as you're going down the road. So when you get to your next destination, all the batteries will be full and you'll be ready to go again. So that's just another redundancy and another feature that we're doing that you're not gonna see on other manufacturers' solar systems. One other thing I'd like to point in here, we have a patent pending on this uh, water, freshwater drinking station right there. It looks like a five gallon jug and that's quite frankly what it is. However, you see that water line, that white line will go all the way up and run to a spigot that I'll show you on the inside of the coach by your kitchen faucet. It also purifies the water into your uh, refrigerator. So all of your ice and your drinking water will be purified as well. So basically you're getting rid of the need for any uh, 12 ounce bottles or whatnot, or plastic bottles, save the environment, the rivers, the streams, the oceans. And quite frankly, you can bring three, four, five, even 10 of those with you and you could have fresh water uh, continuous to your coach. Next thing I want to talk about is your uh, docking station. Very simple, very laid out, very, uh, very easy to read. Got your cable phone and satellite hookups right there. Here's your redundancy switch that I talked about uh, for your six point leveling as well. And what's really neat is anybody can run this system. I always tell customers that, do you know your colors? Do you know your shapes? If you know colors and shapes, look how easy this is to run our system. 
Everything is color coded and everything has the shape. So if you follow the directions right there, there's nothing that you can't do with our system right there with zero training. We also have a whole house water filtration system as well. And then right through here is where you can bring your hoses right up. You can plug them in and then you can shut the door right there so that you can keep all the heat inside of your coach. Because once again, when we talked about having that larger furnace than others, that extra 5,000 BTUs of heat, that's gonna take that heat and keep it right in. I mean, it's a water station, so you know that you have to keep it protected. And that's what we do standard on every one of our luxury coaches. Here's the 40,000 BTU furnace that we spoke about. One of the things that's uh, really critical too is construction. So we talk about our vacuum bonding lamination where it's 144 tons of pressure for 16 to 18 minutes. We do that all in house. One of the things I really like to show customers is everything, even our sidewalls are vacuum bonded and laminated. A lot of manufacturers will take this and this will just be a hung wall or a pinch rolled wall. And you can literally push in on their walls on every single one of the luxuries, vacuum bonded and laminated. The reason I show this is residential reefers a few years ago were really getting a knock for uh, serviceability and to be able to pull things out to service. So I think this is our third or fourth year now, I believe, third year, where we actually got with the manufacturer of the, air, or of the uh, refrigerators and we asked them, okay, if we were to put an access hole here to be able to service this, what size would you need? So we actually follow their recommendations. Now you can lift this up. Anything that has a residential refrigerator, you have access to the backside panel for serviceability. And that's become a very, very, very uh, popular item with all of the service technicians at your dealerships. Once again, this is going to be floor plan specific, but this is the 38 FLGS new floor plan for the Pinnacle. This is the back side of that pass through storage here. And then we also have this storage right here. That's really neat. And you can see how we do the compartmentalization right there with the walls so that everything's not floating back and forth as you're driving down the road. Another feature on the Pinnacle is your 50 amp power cord reel. So this is a separator between Pinnacle and North Point. Have your little switch right here. You can hear that, okay? So these are just some of the items on the outside of the Pinnacle that I wanna help you with and understand the things that we do different. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to go to the inside of the coach now. We're gonna talk about some of the features on the inside. Now we're on the inside of the new Pinnacle for 2022. We're in the 38 FLGS new floor plan. New for 2022 is what we refer to as voice command. Now at model change, we went ahead and we installed the voice command or the J command, J voice inside of every single coach. However, the software wasn't updated for it to go live at model change. I believe it was October 1st, January or September 28th timeframe there's a push that goes through your BM Pro smart system. So all the dealerships, all the customers, if they go ahead and re-download the app and refresh in the app, it'll do a push to the uh, command center and then you will have this feature already set up standard inside of your coaches and it's real cool. It's very simple. This is our J voice command system. Basically what it does is it does all of your interior lights or lighting solutions, exterior lights. It'll do your AC, your second AC, even your optional third AC. It will also, we've programmed it to do movie mode. So you could actually dim the lights. They're predetermined on how much the setting goes down to when you command it to do uh, movie mode. It'll also do your furnace. So for example, I'm gonna give it the command, which is simple, it's just Jayco. So Jayco, all lights. Now you can see anything that's gonna be a task light in here is gonna be a manual switch. So that's gonna be something that's maybe something harder to reach or something out of the way. So anything like that or your ceiling feature, that'll still work off the task lighting. Jayco, all lights. And you can see they pop back on. So regardless of what command that you give it, It'll come with a placard right here that you can follow right here. It will take care of your lighting solutions, your AC, your furnace, things like that. So really neat feature and it's gonna be more scalable as we go. So as the technology continues to 
get better, uh, we're going to start working on other commands that will go. And the neat thing is you already have that standard equipment starting in the 2022 model year. All of your big seismics, your north points, and your pinnacles. Okay. Now, specifically talking about the pinnacle, you can tell pinnacle is our high line unit. This is our top of the line. It's our luxury, highest luxury end. So things like new for 2022, we did the uh, we had the farm style sink, but we got rid of the 50-50 and went to this. All of your cabinetry, including all of your styles, are all solid hardwood. Uh, these doors are new for this year. You can see the detail, the gloss, the shine, the smoothness. Have every customer feel how smooth that is. It's like butter. But we have the spring-loaded hinged hinges. These are the same doors basically that we show in our Integra motorhomes and our motor coaches. So you can tell how high in that is. And once again, this is our high-end luxury. Have a built-in steel wine rack this year. You know, we went to this Insignia oven, you know, the turkey approved. You can see it's 3.73 cubic feet. We also have four burners with steel grates on them, very heavy duty. So you can see the oversized grates. You have a 12, a 9, you have a 6, and a 3500 BTU. What's important about that is anybody at altitude to be able to boil water. Anything over 9000 BTUs, it's literally impossible to boil water, and that's why this has the 12,000 BTU uh, on it as well. I also want to talk about our BLE switches. So I notice in a lot of videos when I watch dealerships give their walk around videos, they never really talk about the BLE switches. And I think you're leaving a little opportunity on the table there. These are all run off of a watch battery. These are not plugged into the wall. However, this is task lighting as you go around the coach. So there'll be some up in the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom, those areas. So if I wanted to hit my ceiling lights right here and I didn't want to use the voice command, no problem. If I wanted to go to the pendant lights, I could go to the pendant lights. If I wanted to go to the uh, lower accent lights, dinette lights, you can tell right there, I can just push those. Now, if I push and hold, if you push and hold, I'll do the uh, main ceiling lights. If I push and hold, I can actually dim them from here as well. So you have your dimmable lights here. To do that, you just let go, push it again, hold it'll bring it right up to full brightness. So however you want to run the coach, remember, don't forget about the Bluetooth, low energy, or BLE switches that we put around the coach for redundancy, okay? Insignia convection microwave. You can always tell it's convection when it has the steel on the inside. Insignia, for you guys that need to know as well, remember that's Best Buy's private label. So this is very residential high-end stuff. On this particular floor plan, this is, like I said, this is a takeoff of our North Point 382. It's a little bit flip-flopped, a little bit different, but it's the same buyer. So one of the things we didn't want to do is have the same exact floor plan. And you can see your table right here. If you wanted to push your chairs forward and you wanted to have a place to have breakfast, his and her, this is a couple's coach. They could look out the big panoramic windows right here, have breakfast, lunch, dinner, or they could also use it as a computer desk. We've got USBs, 110s, we have a coffee maker space right over there, and then over there, that's where the optional new Overlander EXT solar package, all the controllers are at. However, if I wanted to change this up, I could actually, if I had guests over, I could actually slide this table back. I could put two additional chairs that come with it and store underneath the bed. And now I've got a place to play cards. I can watch television. I've got a full backsplash here of real subway tile. I mean, that's real tile. It's not plastic. So once again, you can see this floor plan. There isn't anything else in the industry like this. Nobody has this floor plan. This is proprietary to us. This is the 38 FLGS Pinnacle. Now we also have the Televator. What really makes this floor plan unique, or the 382 North Point, is that we have a television on each side. So we'll have a 32-inch TV on this side. Obviously you get the idea. I can run it down and I can have full access to the living room folks up here. I can have a conversation. Um, actually, while I'm cooking, I can stare somebody in the face because notice how we took the theater seats and we flip-flopped everything other manufacturers that make front living rooms, they always put their entertainment center at the front nose, which is great. Unfortunately, when the theater seat is sitting right here, now you're talking to the back of their head. So when we flip-flopped it, it totally changed the front living rooms uh, in, uh, in RV land. And I will tell you, if you get tired of looking at them up there and you want a little wall separator, a little bit of division, now I have a dedicated 
living room, I have a dedicated kitchen space all by just lifting the televator. And then as we make our way up to the living room, you'll notice that there's another television up there that's a 50 inch TV as well. So follow me up here. Once again, I was talking about how traditionally you would see the entertainment center up here. Some people will do a windshield. A lot of them don't spend the money on the windshield and they'll just cover that whole area with an entertainment center. So we have that, we have the blackout shade that pulls down. We have LED lighting. We have more task lighting up here. So you can see I can change that any way that I want. Okay. Dual opposing trifold sofas. So when these are in the out position, you can still walk through the middle so they're not gonna come all the way and touch. Remember, all pinnacles are 102 inch wide body. Your north points are gonna be 96 inch wide. These are 102. Once again, we talked about the BLE switching. We have more on this side. We have more on the uh, other side in the slide out room. Now this area up here, this is our uh, 4G, this is our gateway, gateway repeater. We can turn it on and off here from your 360 antenna. So basically this coach comes standard with Wi-Fi ready to go. Now your customers will just have to opt into a data plan. So whether that's AT&T or Verizon, they can go ahead and set up their own plan. They can remove that, take their SIM card, put it in. Now they have cellular capabilities to their coach. Okay. That's standard equipment on all North points, pinnacles, and big seismics. Another thing I'd like to talk about is right here. So these grills, if you notice, there is no air conditioner in the ceiling. You do not find an air conditioner in any one of our luxury product ceilings. That's because we have dual whisper quiet air. Um, this coach right here, if I were to turn these on, on high, we could have the same conversation. Typically, you'd have to start raising your voice up to be able to talk over it. Well, in this case, you do not. So. Uh, we have the Whisper Quiet Air, the Dual Whisper 15s. If you were to opt into the third air conditioner, which would be another 15, you can run all three of your 15,000 ACs on 50 amp power. Okay, so we've been doing that for seven years now. On our luxury, it actually started way back in our toy uh, hauler seismic, and that's something that we've carried all the way through. Okay, JBL speakers, name brand, JBL stereo name brand extra usb 110s everywhere you can see there's storage everywhere so once again remember solid hardwood cabinetry solid hardwood styles there's nothing going to be wrapped in a pinnacle this is our high-end unit and like i was speaking about earlier with the 50 inch tv now you have a 50 inch on this side a 32 on that side and that's one of the things that really makes this floor plan unique Moving down into the, we're gonna go through the kitchen area. Talk about our half bath. Now this is a pinnacle thing only. The North Point has a half bath standard, but that's all you're gonna get in the North Point. In the pinnacle, we also have an option for what's called the butler pantry. So if, if a customer, if it's a couple and they want extra storage, they can opt into the butler pantry. And what they're gonna have is that same sink Instead of the uh, medicine cabinet, they're gonna have uh, lighted shelves there. And then there'll be storage back behind the toilet area where the toilet will be removed. You'll have cabinets that'll go all the way up for a pantry, and that is the butler pantry option. One thing that's very cool and unique about that though, is we are leaving the black tank flush in all the time, regardless of how it's ordered. The reason we did that, even though it costs Jayco money to spend the money on a black tank every single time, Instead of having to reorder a complete unit just because of uh, the half bath or the pantry option, now, if it did that, you could actually remove the toilet and build the shelves in or vice versa. You could actually remove the pantry aspect, drill the hole for the toilet and go right into the black tank that we've already provided for you. So instead of in this crazy market having to uh, wait sometimes six, eight, nine months, you can actually change it out right on your... Uh, right on the lot at the dealership and take care of that, okay? Let's come around here. This started last year in our luxuries, but it's a really neat feature when you pull this out. Uh, customers do not have to crawl underneath there or their stuff hasn't flown all over the place, whether it be their Dawn dishwashing soap or their cleaning utensils. 
and we also have the built-in trash can. Okay. We have the shoe garage right there, so when you first come in the door, you can kick your shoes off, slide them underneath there as well. More storage when you come in, and then we also have the flip-up shelves. So if you need additional room for your coat, all you have to do is just flip the shelves up. If you'd like to use it for additional pantry space, you flip them down, and that's standard equipment. Coming into the master suite, you can see how large this is. Look at the space at the foot of the room. One of the reasons why that is, is we are putting the big 36 inch deep slides on literally every floor plan. So when you see the depth of that slide, that be bedroom slide, look how deep that goes. Look how far that moves back. So now you have a great place to put your shoes and socks on in the morning. You have another 32 inch TV right here. You can see the whisper quiet that we talked about. But look at the amount of this headroom. This is an elevated rear platform, okay? Just like the living room was elevated. I'm six foot two and look how much room I have because of the arched rafters. Remember, we have six inch rafters in all of our North Points and Pinnacles. And when they taper down, they retain that six inches all the way to the side of the sidewall. What's important about that is that we don't have to crush the insulation down therefore decreasing your R factor because we can actually maintain that and get the breathability all the way through that uh, insulation. So arch ceilings, you basically don't even see those anymore. That's a selling feature right there that we're not being shopped on. So I wanted to make sure you understood that. We have a great barn door here as a separator. When you come into the master bathroom, once again, this is washer and dryer, but just like in the hallway, you see how this moves out of the way? Now, if I wanted to hang clothes here, I could use that as additional hanging space, or if I wanted to use it for the washer and dryer, all I have to do is remove those shelves, put the two-piece stack in there, and I'm good to go with the washer and dryer. I can do an all-in-one as well. Oversized vessel bowl sinks. You can see how big those sinks are. We did the high-rise faucets with it. We also have lit shelves or backlit shelves. This is our new industrial look in throughout for towel holders and for your toilet paper holders, things like that. We also included a nice window in here for natural light. And then our walk-in shower. Like I said, this walk-in shower started here at Jayco, which pioneered the walk-in shower for the RV industry about four years ago in our seismic toy hauler. Then it moved into our Pinnacle series. Last year, it went into our North Points. But we have the 300 pound rated plus teak seat. This is our new shower tower with multiple spray ports. That's new for this year, skylight. And we also have a nice little corner shelf to put your uh, shampoo bottles and some more soap and things like that. So to learn any more about the Pinnacle, please reach out to your regional sales manager or visit jayco.com. You'll be able to see all of the 360 videos or the floor plans with all of our new bells, whistles, and industry firsts.